Welcome to Huntington, West Virginia and Jones C. Edwards Stadium, home to the thundering herd of Marshall and one of the toughest places to play in all of college football. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 14 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on a team from the Sun Belt, the Marshall Thundering Herd. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Marshall will kick off to get the festivities started. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Oklahoma's offense will take the first swing of the game. And there he is, a man who makes an entire stadium hold its breath every time he touches the ball, Jesse. This defense better have a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. And he is the primary focus. That's what this defense is focused and keyed in on. we got to stop him if we're going to have success today. The Sooners in the hurry up. Back to throw. It's Arnold. Gets it out fast. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. It's a really nice throw. It's so impressive watching this Oklahoma passing attack now. You think back to Bob Stoops taking over as head coach in 1999 and bringing with him the air raid offense, a style of passing attack that still wasn't very prevalent in college football at the time, but since then they've always had good quarterback play and guys that could play up tempo, make good decisions. This dude right here, he fits in perfectly with what they're trying to do throwing the ball in Norman, Oklahoma. Going up top on first down. He lets one fly deep, and it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. They'll run it from the gun. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long, this one from the 44. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Comes out throwing on first down. Got him downfield. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Another big play for this Sooner receiver, dare I say, Hollywood-esque. Hollywood is right. And that's one guy that comes to mind, by the way. But this offense, it just does what it does. No matter the name, no matter the, the coach, whoever it is, it's going to be high-flying, it's going to be fast-paced, and it's going to be really good. Looking for room. It's all Chuck. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown Sooners. Talk about a great way to start the game and setting the tone right out of the gate. You ain't lying. Sometimes it takes a couple drives to get the juices going and get in a rhythm. No, sir. They came on the field locked, loaded, ready to roll. No slow start here. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And the PAT makes it 7-0. So a drive there of 84 yards. And it was closed out by the fantastic 25-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Thundering Herd offense takes the field. It's our first look at them in this one. Here are our impact players for this game and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week and we asked them who needs to step up and play while they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. He's going to pass. He's got an open man. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with a first down. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket this slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. They've come out with answers on this possession and now another first down making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They go to the draw. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke. Not much room to run. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. From the gun, wants to pass. Nowhere to go and the ball is loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And the defense able to get pressure to the quarterback, and they've got everybody trying to swipe at the football, and the impact on the hit sometimes jars the ball loose. Great job with the pass rush, and a better job forcing a turnover. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front, and they're able to get to the quarterback. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Looking downfield, it's Arnold. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Third play of the drive, and they need to make something happen here on third and long. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I like the idea of going draw there. You're trying to sell pass, but you still need to do a better job up front executing those blocks. There's too many one-on-ones where they got beat, and as a result, they suffer a negative play. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. This field goal attempt is going to be an even 50-yarder. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights.
So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Marshall takes over the ball. The thundering herd offense coming out. And the fumble on that last drive could have been much worse, David. They, they bailed him out. They held him to a field goal. So that's the good news. Now this offense has to get it going. Forget about the fumble, Jesse. Move on. Be positive. And they're upset with themselves, too. Uh, they're an offense that pride themselves on ball security. Let's see what they do right here. That last completion has him set up, second and short. They'll put the tight end in motion. Out of the gun, the inside give. At the 35, he's got room. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Quick strike complete. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Line getting set on second down. The give out of the gun. Tackle is made after the first down. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, stick into the run. Nice job getting the first down. This Marshall offense putting together a nice drive. They'll throw it on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Conley. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I'll say this, man, in college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackling. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Intercepted. Got some room to run. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. But you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Back to pass, it's Arnold. Gonna try to pop one on the screen. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. Now, how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work. And the Sooners racing to the line in the hurry up. on the option they thought they could just run it on third and short but this defense was there to make the stop the Sooners will send out the punt unit this will be their first punt of the afternoon And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. 
The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. Got nothing on first down. Now second and 10 from their own 25. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. They come to the line facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. How great is it if you're a defensive coordinator that you know I can put six DBs on the field in my dime package, and I can still get home rushing four? My guys up front are better than your guys, and we're going to go prove it. And they did just there. Marshall will be forced to punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the return, it's Bowen. And he loses the football on the return. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Marshall takes over the ball. The thundering herd offense coming out. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And with those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Now they'll run the draw. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. And you can see why it's so tricky for a defense to have to stop these draw plays. Everything the offense is doing is telling you pass. The quarterback, the offensive line, the running backs delaying. You've taken your deep drop in coverage, and now you've got to rally and find the football and do it, trying to avoid these big 300-pound bodies running at you full speed. Not an enviable task. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. They're looking to pass from the red zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Marshall! Man, diving catches always look sweet, but they look even sweeter when it's for a touchdown. That's shades of Desmond Howard back in the day winning a Heisman Trophy and making catches against Notre Dame. That was unbelievable. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. Just about set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Sooner offense returns to the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. 
And, and I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. Dropping back, it's Arnold. Got his man in the middle. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. And eventually taken down, but what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yardage. All right, defense. It ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. The Sooners will line it up on first and 10. He wants to throw. Unloads it left. It's caught. They'll immediately call timeout. Everything seems to be working for this offense right now, and if they keep this up, this could get ugly by the fourth quarter. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a man. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and 10. He's looking to throw. He caught it, and he will score! Touchdown, Oklahoma! These two guys, they just shared a glance, and they knew exactly, exactly what to do, David. And how many times do we hear that? The quarterback talk about it after the game and go, hey, I just looked at him. He knew what I saw. I knew what he saw. We're on the same page. We've done this before. That chemistry equals big plays. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. On first down, here comes this offense. From the gun, running back on the move. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there today in Huntington. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Jones C. Edwards Stadium. And the Sooners will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Motion from the offense. 
He'll try it again. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. Marshall quick to the line. On third down, going up top. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. Yeah, and man, you talk about being down at the half. What's one thing I need to do? I, I got to protect my quarterback. In the first series here now, you're getting your quarterback hit and taken to the ground. This offense has to protect that dude at all costs. Marshall will be forced to punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. They try to pop a run on the draw. Tough, physical, hard-nosed running gets it to the 34. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yardage situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. And the defense has got it, and they're bringing it back. Open runway ahead. Touchdown, Hurd! And the defense doing work. Great heads up play by the defender there. He saw the ball on the ground, didn't just jump on it, was able to scoop it up, had a convoy, led him for a touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. They're out there to kick it off. The return team must rivet that ball to their rib cage. Can't afford another turnover. On the move from inside his five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. Going to run it. It's all Chuck. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. They'll go right back to him. He'll push his way out to the 30, a pickup of three. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Back to throw. It's Arnold. Unloads to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Burks. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Just the ability to move the chains, keep the drive going, sort of quintessential efficiency from a Sooner quarterback. Yeah, and from a Sooner offense because, Reese, they keep the drive going, but what does that do? 
most Oklahoma teams over the years, we see them go fast, and they see, and they wear you down throughout a football game. So the quarterback play on those completions that move the sticks, that make you play three more plays, four more plays, five more plays, and just wear you out. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm now. They're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Not much room, a pickup of two down to the 28. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. Defense, defense, defense. On the option, he'll toss it. Nifty little dance step. Perfectly timed on that pitch and they pick up the first down on the play. Well, no real mystery there. And I think this coaching staff has a lot of confidence in their offensive line to get the push needed to give that back just a big enough crease to fall forward and get the first. And it's so hard. My room for error is so small when I'm a defensive line. Like, I got to get off the ball as fast as I can and, and try to get some form of penetration. Just stop that ball from going north-south. Headed to the end zone. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown Sooners. That running back just had a caravan of blockers to take him into the end zone. There's not very many times at home, Reese, where I'm going to say that everybody watching on their couch could have scored on that play. This is one of them. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. If you can do that, I don't know why you don't do it every time. Reduce the risk. Banged it out of the back of the end zone. They'll put it in play at the 25. A quick pass to the left. Got room at the 35. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Reads it, fires complete. And they'll drag him down. That's likely the last play of the third quarter. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who've starred through the first three periods. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Grabbed in the middle. It's Burks. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. 
And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? The Sooners moving quickly to the line. Oh, it's a reverse. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's so easy to let your eyes lie to you, to see the ball kind of go the other way. What's my assignment? My assignment is to make sure I contain on the backside. Great job by the defense, not getting fooled, playing their assignment, making the play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Snags it, and he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Oklahoma! That was just as simple as playing catch in warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field, throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter, and I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. You saw a great example of it right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's Payne. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. Quickly complete. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. To the air on first down. It's complete to the right. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football, and a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. They'll run play action. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Getting some heat. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Marshall will be forced to punt. He'll try to really get into this one. Bringing it back, it's Bowen. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. 
This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. And the Sooners want to pick up the tempo. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. Quickly out to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks at a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Line is set on third down. They move the tight end all over. The play action fake. Throws to the wide out. Got his man. And he's brought down after a nice gain. It's a tough position to be in on defense, right? You're trailing in this game late. You're thinking they're going to run it. we got to get bodies in the line of scrimmage, get a stop, get the ball back. They go play action and throw it over your head. Tough spot to be in. The Sooners have it with a first and ten. The give and tick, 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 tick. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Using his legs, it's Chuck. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. A first down run in the red zone. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be keying him too, right? Because he's hurting them a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a way to try to get some penetration, anticipating this guy to touch it again. Trying to slam in. Touchdown Sooners! And the stomping has commenced. And they say play to the final whistle. This offense took it to heart. Scoring late, maybe they could have wasted the clock. They made no doubt about it. This one's over. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the return man reaches the end of the line and down he goes. One more play to pad the stats. Looking to go up top on first down. Takes a shot as he lets it go. Falls incomplete. They fought to the final whistle, but that's going to do it. 